Oh, I lost my flower. A flower went flying. Hi, it's Beverly Cole and I'm sitting at my computer. Today I want to share with you how to work with my digital stamps, how to layer them into a card. And we're going to start by being in Open Office. Open Office is a free program, works very similar to your Word program. And so the process here would be relatively, I would think, the same in your word processing program. The first thing I'm going to do is bring an image into um, my page. I have made my page margins as small as I wanted. The way I did that was to go up here to Format, down to Page, and then down here you can make your margins as small as you like and hit OK. So these are very skinny margins and I'm happy with that. So we're going to go into Insert Picture from File and we're going to use the Ladies in Peach and she is a PNG image which means there is nothing around her. There's a no background. I'm going to resize her so I can click on her and you get this little green boxes around the edge. Now if I move her, shift her size this way without holding down the shift key, it changes the size and it also changes the dimensions. Let me undo that. Now I'm going to hold the shift key down on my keyboard. Click on her first. Make sure you get those little green boxes. Shift, hold the shift key and move it and she stays the same dimensions. So that looks good. Okay, let's put her up here in the corner for now. Okay, we go back to insert picture from file and I want to choose a background. So I'm going to go up here to my paper pack and choose the distress blue jelly background. And it will appear here. Now, I want to make this a size that works for me, so I'm going to right click on it and go to position and size. That's right click with my mouse, position and size. And down here is the only thing I'm worried about. I don't want to keep the dimensions, so I'm going to say keep ratio, I mean ratio of the dimensions. This is going to be a square. I don't want a square. So I'm going to go to my width, and I want that to be probably <clears throat> three and three quarters, and the height should be five inches. So click OK, and there is your background. So I can just grab that when I have the pointer chosen. Just grab that and move it around. Now with that, it changed the shape of the flowers. So let me show you another way to do your background. So I deleted that just by pushing delete on my keyboard. I'm going to insert the picture again from file. We'll choose the same one. And this time I'm going to crop it. So I'm going to put it right down there where my little dimensions are. And these dimensions, let's move her over here for now. Remember, the little squares is a grid that I have chosen to show. You go, you find the grid over here under View, and you can click on Grid, and you'll have your grid there. I'm going to crop this, so click on there, hit Crop, and then we're going to hold down the Shift key. I don't know, wait, let me try without the Shift key first. I don't remember. But I want this to be 3 and 3 quarters. I'm going to slide over to about 3 and 3 quarters. Okay by five, so using the rulers on the side, move to five, and then click off on the side and your background disappears. Now, you can see by the little squares, one, two, three, three and a half, so that's three and three quarters, by one, two, 
three, four, five. Every block is a half inch. So now I'm going to layer her on here, slide her over. I'm just clicking on her, holding down my left mouse button and dragging her over. Okay. Oh, where did she go? She's behind this paper. So you can still see the little green squares. That's her. We're going to right click and then go down to arrange, bring to front. Click that. And there she is. Okay, so there she is. And I'm not sure I like this woman, the color of this woman with this background. So I think I'd like to change it. Now to change her out, she's chosen here. I'm going to go to insert picture from file. Go back to Hello Beautiful and choose the lady in blue. And there she is. So what the program did was replace her with another image. So I think I want the background to be less uh, apparent. So what I'm going to do is click on it and up here you'll see a little glass and that's transparency. So we want the transparency of the background to be more so it's not as dark. So I'm going to just go up to about 25 and it's lightened my background. I can go even lighter I'm going to go to, uh, let's try 50. And even do that, which is kind of pretty, kind of uh, pastel-y. I kind of like it. Let's try it a little darker. Okay. So there's my card so far. Now this card, being 3 and 3 quarters by 5, gives us that extra half inch for a standard A2 card. So I'm going to choose another background piece to put um, behind this one. Now there's two ways you can do that. You can add it digitally or you can add, add it and cut it out and add it. So first I'll show you how to use it to cut out. So I want it to be probably uh, three and three quarters by five and a half, four and a quarter by five and a half because I want enough of it to show. So first you make sure you're not clicked on any of the images. Go to insert picture from file and my papers are made to layer so they all look really pretty together. And I think what I will use is the yellow with blue flowers. So this will appear on my page. There it is. I want these flowers to be the size they are, so I'm going to do the same thing, crop and move it to B. Also, when you're cropping, you'll notice down here, you'll see the numbers right here. This will show you how big your image will be. So, but I'm cropping, so we're going to go to four and a quarter. So right here, four and a quarter by five and a half. Looking over here at the uh, still six by ten. So I just move it down more until it goes to about five and a half. And it doesn't have to be exact because you can always trim it later. And there you go. There's my other background paper. Now these both fit on my paper, and I can also remove her and she could be cut out and put on this paper. If you wanted her blouse to be white, you would cut her out because when you put her here, her blouse blends in with the background and she becomes kind of a, an overlay in this area, which I think is kind of pretty. Let's see what she looks like on the yellow. Oops, remember how to fix that. Right click, arrange, bring to front, there she is. Eh, I like her better on the blue. Now, there we go. We can cut this out. We can cut this out. If we put this over here, we can cut this out and then layer them all manually. But you can also layer them digitally, which means you use less ink. Arrange, bring to front. But remember, we made it transparent. So in order to layer this and have it look like 
layered papers, whoops, we're going to bring this down to zero. You can also click in here like this and put a zero. And then we can move her over here. Oops. Arrange ring to front. There she is. Now we can make her bigger by holding the shift button down on the keyboard. Make her bigger. Okay. So that's how you can do it digitally. Then we can also click off insert picture from file. Add a sentiment. Let's do Happy Mother's Day. Should hold the shift key down to keep the words looking the same. Don't hold it down and they'll get chubbier or different and that's okay too. So we can just, when you go to move this, you've got to make sure um, your arrow is on the color, not just on the white space to grab it. All right, so I'm going to, without the shift key, just move that around. And you can also use the arrows on your keyboard over in the corner. That's where mine are. And you can use those arrows to move your stamped images around. Okay. And there's the card done digitally. Now let's do it manually. Do you remember what to do? First we're going to remove, although I think I'm going to leave the sentiment on the blue paper. So how do we do that? We're going to move her over. So she's a separate image. We're going to move, click on the yellow one, and we can move that one. And then this one will just leave with the sentiment. Now if we're going to do it manually lay it, overlay it, we can go ahead and make that blue paper more transparent so it's lighter and you can read that sentiment easier. So there we go. Now to move two images, you're going to click and hold down the left button and drag and everything that you completely enclose in there will become one image to move and then you just move and both of them will move. There we go. Use my arrows again to move it. There we go. Now when I do something like this I like to not waste the card stock, so I'll probably go ahead and we'll do um, maybe copy and print her. I'm going to copy by right click on my mouse, hit copy, or you can hit control copy on your keyboard. Then control V or paste, and now I have two images. But I don't want her whole image. I just want her hat. So I'm going to go here and crop. And this way I save ink. Just want her hat. So you can move those little boxes around. And you will see an, like a, a ghost of the whole image in the background while you work. But once you click, all I have is that. So when I print this out, I can go ahead and I can cut this all out. And then I could even cut out the little flower if I wanted to and glue that on. So how would I do that? Right click copy, right click paste, move that down, crop just the flower. So there's my flower. And I can move that somewhere so that I have more space to put something else. One thing I want to show you is what happens if you put an image in and you make it too big,
it becomes more pixelated. And you don't get the smooth lines anymore. So be careful when you are working with these images that you don't oversize them because they will get funky. Okay, so that's that for that card. But I do want one more image because that's how I am. I want to fill the space. So I think, I think this is still a JPEG. Let's see. Yes, it is. So see how the JPEG has the white around it? But I can put it here and I can make it smaller and I can still print it off as long as it's not overlapping anything else. If it does overlap, I would just go right click on here, arrange, send to the back. Okay. And now just to show you, see now it's in the back, so it disappears behind this lady. If it's in the front, arrange, bring to front, and I do that, she disappears. So I'm going to do that. I'm not sure even I even need to, but I can also move her up a bit. Get her out of the way. So yes, this is my crocus that will be coming out very soon. And I need to color it, so I might as well put it on here now and move everything up so I can make it as large as possible. Let's put this way up here. Over. So now I'm just rearranging things so I can fit as many of these as I want. And I can hold the shift on and make this as big as I want. There. Okay, now it's ready to print. I'm going to make sure I've got cardstock in my printer. And I do. So now we'll print. Go to file. Print. And this will be where it's set up according to your printer. Well, this is mine and it's all set the way I want it. So I'm just going to print this. So here's what I copied onto that one piece of cardstock. And we can go ahead now and create a card with this. So I can show you how to work with these images. So here, I'm going to cut them apart. And there's my surprise image at the bottom just to kind of show you what's coming up I need to get those out because it is spring and i want you guys to be able to enjoy using these beautiful stamps this is a crocus and there are other flowers to go with this set i'll get those out asap cute so here is I'm just going to cut these backgrounds separate from my ladies. So you really only have to cut out what you need when you use digital. So you don't have to have a big extra piece of cardstock, you know, laying around. Where do I put the little pieces that I save? Well, I've showed you before how I save those and I don't really have a lot. So little pieces, um, I use them also to make ephemera for junk journals and collage. So I will share those in another video. Right now, this is me cutting out my papers. So I like to use my paper trimmer to cut things as straight as possible and to cut all that white off. I don't save those. And Okay, so here's the one. So now if you had done this all digitally, you wouldn't have to do all this. You just cut out one card and everything's on there and you're done. With this, we cut out all the layers. And this is the one that we made um, semi-transparent background so you can see how that sentiment really does pop out. 
I also saved that page so that I could use it again, but also if you layered the card, you can save that and then you have that card, you can just print it off whenever you want. So see how the Mother's Day shows up so much better. Okay, and then we have our ladies. So here's the two backgrounds for my card. And, and my ladies. After you design your whole card, just go ahead and cut out everything that you need. You know, you could lay this card out. You can go ahead and take some other stamped images and papers from other sets, layer those like this. But try this first so you get the hang of how to do it if you haven't done this before. Try to leave as much black line as you can by looking at the white area while you cut instead of looking at the black area. That's my little trick. Seems to work for me. I look at the white and I cut it off instead of going, okay, black, leave the black, leave the black. It's for some reason, when I look at the white, it's easier. I don't know why. Maybe my brain just works differently than most people's. I don't know. Now with this one, I'm just going to use the hat. So I'm just going to cut the hat out here. Cut right across her face. <laughs> Ow! <laughs> and you know, I think I'm just going to use the front of the hat. So the back of the hat will go into the background. Okay, so there's the hat front, right? And then the flower, is that little flower that I printed off. And by cropping it, I save as much ink as possible. You don't want to have to print out the hat you know, three whole ladies and then end up throwing most of it away. What a waste of ink that would be. But see, when you stamp and you, you know, unless you're going to just stamp that one little area, well, this is the way to do it digitally. I love digital because it's very, um, it's just much more portable. Um, if you plan ahead, you've got all kind, you know, you're going to go to a crop or something or, you know, to an expo, you can just print off all that stuff ahead of time and then just have fun with your friends cutting and gluing and buying some new different inks and things to add to your cards and ribbons and you know maybe some background papers but you don't have to worry about spending a ton of money on stamps and you know and then all those ink pads to stamp with and the stamp cleaner and i just think this is so much makes so much more sense also, when you're working with the color ones, they save you a lot of time. And yet the cards are still fun to play with. They're fun to manipulate. So I'm going to leave her shirt white. When I don't close in an area with a line here, then when the background disappears for making a PNG, all of this disappears. So to have it show Instead of layering her, you can cut her out like this, and then you'll be able to add that lovely white blouse. I'm going to show you in another video next time some other things to do with these images to make them really fun and interesting. So you can have some more fun with your digital stamps and be m more creative with them. Now I'm going to put some scattered straw around her hat just to take away the, the black. I don't know. Let me try the blue. I don't know. Now another way to do this, if you don't want to hold on to it the whole time, you just lay it on a piece of scrap and go around the edge like this. And what happens is you're gonna get the ink on just the edges, which is really all I want. I just don't want a lot of white. So I will do that. I need a bigger piece of paper. Oh, I lost my flower. My flower went flying. My flower went flying, I lost my flower. Seriously? Come back, little flower. Where did you go? I 
that's it. Back there on my suitcase. <laughs> okay, so here are all my pieces. Now I'm just gonna, like I said, ink her up all the way around, and I'm using the I'm using the faded jeans. And get the ink all the way around. Okay. And that will just keep her from when I put her on the background. You'll see. Up here, you don't see white. See? And so the seams a little bit there. So I'm going to get those really good. That's better. And I do that on the edges of everything. Just so there's no. edges on anything, even my little flower, and if you don't want to hold it, you can use anything, anything handy, pencil, a chopstick, skewer, okay, now on this one, I'm just going to ink the edge this way, because I want a little ink to show helps with the dimension. Okay. And then on this one, I think I'm going to use the scattered straw. Because I really don't want the, a lot of blue on this piece. I'm going to have the scattered straw. And so that just kind of brings the edge out a little bit. Looks really cute. I'm into cute. I'm into cute. I really love this room now where I have a window and I can see the world. Now we all want a window to see the world today, right? Freaking easy. There's the background. Okay, so, so far I have done the layered hat and I'm seeing a little bit of my uh, dimensional sticking out, so I need to do a little trimming. This little flower, and I'm thinking I just think it might be cute as a corsage. Not here, because the two flowers are on the same side, but here. And I think I'll turn it upside down from that one so they don't look exactly alike. How's that? Oh my gosh, that's a drop. Love it. So here's the card, and I think it needs glitter, of course. I sticker, I stickles in glitter glue. I stickles in diamond. <laughs> I glitter glue, are glitter glue. And you make sure that's down at the bottom. Here it is. And I'm just going to put some on the flower. And when it dries, it will be clear, which is awesome. There, and that stands out. 
maybe her earring. Okay, so that's that. Pretty little card. Pretty little card. It's a nice, easy card. I showed you how to layer. I showed you how to lay them out and how to layer them digitally. The difference between the background and her when you do it digitally. We'll be back with more card making and tip videos. So stay tuned. <laughs>